ask you a question. Are you intrigued by the complexity of the tech world? Well, at the roots of this tech world, the two components that constitute every technology are software and hardware. And these require vigorous development through a tested and approved cycle of processes. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipart. In this video, I will discuss the software development life cycle, that is SDLC. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates. Now what is SDLC? SDLC it stands for Software Development Life Cycle. It outlines the numerous steps needed in creating software to produce a high quality end product. The stages of the SDLC encompass the entire life cycle of a piece of software from conception to retirement. Following the SDLC process, results in the software will be developed in a methodical and controlled manner. Now, what are the steps involved in this SDLC cycle? This SDLC cycle is a representation of the software development. The steps involved are as follows. Firstly, we have the planning and requirement analysis. At this point, planning is also done for the requirements for quality assurance and for the identification of project-related risks. Then comes the second stage, which is specifying the needs. The process of representing, documenting, and getting the project stakeholders to approve the software requirements follows the completion of the requirement analysis. Third stage is called creating the software. The knowledge of the software project's needs, analysis, and design will all be revealed in the upcoming phase. This phase is the result of the previous two, such as requirement analysis and the client input, that is, specifying the needs. The fourth stage is called the project development. The actual development phase of the SDLC starts here, and programming is developed, that is, programming is created from scratch. Coding represents the start of design implementation. Programming tools include compilers, interpreters, debuggers, and other similar tools are used to generate and implement the code. And developers must adhere to the coding standards outlined by their management. Now, after the project development phase, we have the fifth stage, that is testing. Following the generation of the code, it is compared to the requirements to ensure that the solutions are satisfying the demands identified and acquired during the requirement stage. Unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptability testing are carried out at this level. Then we have the next stage called deployment. When the software has been certified and no defects or mistakes have been reported, it is put into use. The software may then be delivered as is or with proposed improvements in the object portion depending on the assessment. The maintenance of the software starts once it has been deployed. Now we come to the last stage that is called maintenance. When the customer begins utilizing the technologies that have been designed, the true problems and ongoing needs become apparent. Maintenance is the process when the developed product is given attention. And now let's talk about the SDLC models. So the explanation of the software development life cycle is provided by different models. Although each SDLC model takes a somewhat different approach, all of them share the same fundamental phases and activities. Let's try to name a few of them. Firstly, we have waterfall model, then we have V-shaped model, prototype model, spiral model, iterative incremental model, the big bang model, and lastly, the agile model. With that, we have come to the end of this video. So let's just say for the project to be successfully finished, adherence to an appropriate life cycle is crucial. In turn, this facilitates management. Each model of the software development life cycle has pros and cons of its own. Elements like requirement, analysis, system complexity, project size, cost, skill limitation, etc. can help establish the optimal model for any project. And that's it for this video. Thank you.